just returned our rental. We're getting on the shuttle, going to the port. Get on in. So first look at it. Disney Dream. We are here. Third time is the lucky charm. Here we go. It's a wristband. It looks like a watch. Yeah, it's like a watch. All right, let's take it. Off. All right, we're about to board. Look, empty. I like the way Disney does it. Check in and start boarding. Actually, there's more people on this side, but that's cool. That is all good. So we did get here a little early. Um, our actual arrival time was 1 p.m. Um, but we arrived a little bit early to avoid the crowd. And so we're just waiting here for them to call our boarding number. They are Look, checking boarding. Yeah, our boarding number is 21. They're on number seven right now. And it's noon, so they'll probably get to us before our original arrival appointment time. Um, so we'll, we're just kind of playing by ear. And like I said, I don't know what to expect. We're gonna be learning this together. Um, but yeah, they're on boarding seven and we are 21. So we're just gonna rest here until, I'm hoping that by the time we get on board, our cabin is ready so we can drop off our bags. We chose not to check our bags this time because we do have water and things in our suitcases and they do not allow you to check water and things. Um, so we had to carry our stuff on. So we're gonna carry it on. Hopefully the cabins are ready so we can drop it off and then explore. So like I said, we're here, we're waiting. The airplane frozen, you hear it? That's awesome. And you probably noticed Jo Marie doesn't have her glasses on. I think she left them in the airport in Ohio, so we'll have to check the lost and found when we return. For now, she'll be a little squinty little girl. Mommy, I can <laughs> see. Barely. <laughs> I can. We're getting on the ship. Here we go. It is real now. All right, and if you've been following us on YouTube, go Jomari. We did not get the photo package because Ron's not with us. Um, I did put a poll out there and you guys helped. Remember, we're going this way, baby. Um, you guys did help me decide. We did not get the photo package. We'll still get some awesome shots, so we'll be sharing those with you. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook at MH Family Adventures. All right, here we go. Excuse me. Look, Joe. We're out of here. Mommy, I just want to get on the ship already. You just want to get on the ship already? Yeah. There we go. We're headed there. Watch your step. Oh, All right, you can pull it, Joey. That might be easier going this way. All right, it's boarding time. First Disney cruise. Well, the first one that we did this. First one, yeah. Yeah, we planned it a few times, so. And again, I'm so sad that Ron's not with us, but you know, there'll be another time I'm sure. She's like literally running. Slow down, Jo Marie. <laughs> we'll be there, watch your step here. I know, we're almost there. You excited, girl? Hey, are you excited? 
Eric, he's looking for Lightning McQueen. <laughs> Go ahead, pull it, pull it. Almost there, we're almost there. Major Holland. Major Holland. Yes. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Yes. Thank you. Welcome Isn't this up. awesome? Hello, hello. Oh, wow. Disney Green. Awesome, they said our name as we came in. Come on, guys, keep moving. There's other families coming in. Nikki. Please welcome aboard the Butchevich family. Guest services. All right, we're going to deck four. Please welcome aboard the Harry family. We're off to deck four. Y'all, I'm a little nervous. This is like our very first Disney experience, and I, I know the other cruise lines. Um, this is our first time, so I'm a little bit nervous. So. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. You guys excited? All right, here we go. All right, so we're headed to our muster station first. Muster Station. We are I. There's G. Oh, look at these lounge chairs. Those are nice. Y'all have never seen lounge chairs like this <laughs> on a cruise ship. These are really nice. They're cushioned. Look at those. Those are amazing. All right, here's our muster station. All right, Port of Miami. We've seen her, what, four times already this summer. But first time on Disney. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna be an adventure, so. We're gonna, we're gonna see if we can drop our bags off in our cabin and then go to Cabana's. Cabana's is the buffet. Um, we're gonna try to go there and get some lunch before it gets too crowded. Yes, John Marie. The lounge chairs don't look like lap chairs. It's like massage chairs. Yeah, those are very soft chairs. I like these automatic doors too. Look at Mickey way over there. Greeting everyone. All right. Looks like we're gonna have to carry our bags with us while we get something to eat. They're still cleaning. The room looks cool. Huh? The room looks. Cool. All right. Let's go to the bandage. We'll find a place to put our. Thank you. Watch your stuff. Looking for Cabana. Rose Cafe. Oh, they have pizza and stuff here. First look at the deck. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I know. Chairs. They already have towels ready for you. Wow. Oh, look, kitty pool. Oh, jacuzzi. Right there. I might partake in that. There's the kids' pool. Nice. All right, let's see. Towel station. Quack. Oh, Joe, they do have life vests. And drink station. Now sodas are included. That I know. Oh, let's look over here. Nemo Greek. A little splash area for kids. How oh, cool. Mommy. That's a little splash area for kids. You can get in that. No, I can't. Yes, you can. I'm too big. You're not too big, girl. But I want to go in the water, so I don't want to 
Come on, let's go find some food. Alright. Alright, let's go find some food. Alright, so now we'll Oh, Jomari, here's where the gumballs are. And we are here in Cabana's buffet. Let's find a spot to put our bags. And let's eat. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabana's. Welcome Thank aboard. you. All right, we gotta wash our hands. All right, we got pizza, Italian. Let's see. Smells good. Thank you. Deep sea subs and sandwiches. Soup station. It's like salad bar. This pretty wall. So yeah, salad bar. Oh, Joe Marie, look. Joe. Joe Marie. Look, you see a little shrimp? Look at that. We've never had shrimp on a buffet. <laughs> on any of our cruises. Right, that's what I want. <laughs> see all those shrimp? And crabs. Oh, yeah. All right. On the dessert. Fruit. This is the other side. Hey guys, we might have to go outside. You wanna go outside? Huh? You wanna go outside and eat? All right, it's hot out, but we're gonna sit here in the shade. Get us some lunch. You guys put the bags kind of back here. Let's go get food. You already know what I'm getting, right? Yeah. What am I, shrimp and crabs? Can I, can I try some crab and I try crab? Yeah, sure. All right, come on, let's go. Should have brought some old day and garlic. <laughs> That's what my mom would have done. We need four. All right, let's eat. Hey, right, you want shrimp? Go ahead and get shrimp. Get shrimp. Come on. Get the shrimp. Beautiful salad. You want a salad or anything? I think I'm gonna get a salad. I'm gonna try this salad. I want that one too. Looks like it has pomegranate and egg. Can we can we we'll get that and have that one. Boys got their basic pizza, mac and cheese, tender. Well, it feels cold. Yeah. That's why I have ice. I'm gonna wear my ice. Joe and I have the better taste buds, right? Ice. We're eating shrimp. And crab. And salad to balance it all off. Because I need. Shrimp. Love seafood. They're my favorite. You have to pick all the shell off. Boys, how's your food? Tastes good so far? Good drink? Glad, glad you played in front of you. So y'all, be honest, the shrimp is good. Um, you can tell it was in boiled in salt water. Um, now, is it the shrimp that I would pick at home? No, but you know what? It's shrimp and it's good. So we're gonna eat it. I'm gonna probably have it every day. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. All right, we're gonna eat it. All right, Jo Marie's learning how to peel her shrimp right. She's a shrimp eater. If you follow any of our uh, vlogs, you know Jo Marie orders what every night? Shrimp cocktail every single night. <laughs> All right, let's eat. All right, guys, so I do apologize. I'm not quite sure what happened here, but at this point here, um, I had some sort of glitch with my GoPro and it caused me to lose most of my audio for the rest of the day. So these upcoming clips are gonna be very brief. Um, I'll do a voice over when I can, but I do apologize. I did wanna get this content out to you. Um, I was hoping for it to be wholesome and all that, but um, not sure what happened. But no worries, the next vlogs will be right back to normal. So as you can see in this clip, Joe and I were enjoying some uh, rock crabs or rock claws, whatever you wanna call them. 
they were pretty good but like i said i would have rather had some old bay and garlic um they were pretty tasty the funny thing is this crew member right here he saw me bite down into it i think i'm gonna do it here in a second and yeah i almost chipped a tooth and then he told me yeah you can get some uh some of the uh crackers at the buffet so a few minutes later he comes back and he brings me crackers so now i can crack my crabs and i can tell you that i had this every single day of this cruise i really enjoyed it All right, so shortly after lunch, we were able to make our way to our cabin. Here's a quick tour of our cabin, 10086, which is a deluxe ocean view with veranda. Veranda is just a fancy word for balcony, um, but this is a very, very spacious cabin, probably the largest cabin that we've been in. Um, it does accommodate up to four guests, and we'll start right here at the back of the door. You'll have your assembly, muster station information, all of your emergency stuff there for you. And then here in the closet, there's lots of hanging sp space, lots of storage. Um, there's also your life vest there. And um, again, this uh, cabin does accommodate up to four guests. There's more hanging space there. There is a ladder there if you decide to use the pull down bunk. And what I love about this cabin is that it actually has two restrooms. Um, so one of the restrooms, as you'll see here, has your toilet and sink. And I love that they divided this out so you could have a family member using the restroom while someone else is taking a shower. Um, and then here is the shower and it actually has a, a round circular tub, which I absolutely loved. Um, it's perfect for families with young children that need to take a bath. Um, loved the shower head. Look at the rain shower, that was really amazing. Um, I think I use that every time I showered. Um, but you have sink and yeah, just spacious, it's nice. Love that it's divided, you have a full length mirror there. And then this was an adjoining cabin. So a lot of the uh, cabins on Disney Dream are adjoining cabins to accommodate families. But here's a nice king size bed. And this was very, very comfortable. Um, and I also love that it had lots of storage underneath. So we could just slide all of our luggage underneath. This bed here can turn into um, a single bed or a double bed. And then you have the bunk up top. As you see here, you have telephone, you have your lamps. There were no USB ports um, here on the side. So be sure to bring an adapter. There is a curtain there to uh, block off to have some privacy. A nice vanity area. I love that it was so much space there um, for you. Um, they had storage, cabinets. Um, as you see, there is a small television and they play Disney things all, all the time. So Disney uh, movies. And here is the balcony, just your standard size balcony, but it was nice to be able to get outside and take a look um, at the Port of Miami right there. But we enjoyed lots of time out on this balcony or veranda as Disney calls it. So yeah, so that's about it for our cabin 10086. Very, very spacious ocean view cabin with a veranda. So I just have to say that the guests that were on board were um, so uh, fantastic. Um, we were chatting with the lady in the hallway. She learned that this was our very first Disney cruise. And she says, oh, wait here a second. And she comes back with this bag. And she said, after your first sailing with Disney, they give you these crossbody bags and that she has over 10 of them and that she wanted to pass this one along to our family. So we were so, so thankful that she did this for us. So if you're watching this, thank you so much. All right, so now we are off trying to find the kids club. Um, for our sailing, they had just lifted the restrictions, so there was no limitations as far as the kids club. These kids clubs were probably the best we've ever seen on a cruise ship, and they all had a lot of fun. So let's take a quick tour. So Joe Marie was issued one of these magic bands, or I think they're called magic wands or something. 
Um, but yeah, she had to use that to check in and out of the kids club. And they were actually able to locate her and see which part of the kids club she was at based on her location on her band. So every time she would have to check in and out that way. And they placed this little um, lock there so that her um, wristband would not fall off throughout the day. But yeah, so easy check-in and check-out system, very secure. And this kids club, the Oceaneer uh, Lab, was pretty massive. They had so many different sections. Um, so as you see here, lots of open space, lots of room to play. They had all kinds of games. And at no point was it ever like really crowded in the kids club. Um, so she really, Jimmery, really, really enjoyed the kids club. But we'll just take a quick walk through so you can see what to expect at the Oceaneer Lab. So this animators um, lab area here was one of Jim Marie's favorite um, parts of the kids club because she could go in here, she could draw, do all kinds of art activities, and then things would come to life. She absolutely loved this area. Um, I did not get to see it in action um, because parents were not allowed to attend the kids club when you know children were in session. Um, but yeah, so she, she would come back and share things that she did throughout the day. And as you can see here by my face, I was I was thoroughly impressed by um, what I was seeing at the kids club. So definitely make sure your kids are signed up and have them attend the kids club. And like I said, Joe Marie, for the most part, she preferred to stay there pretty much the entire cruise. Um, so lots and lots of fun. And they also had lots of um, character um, presentations. They would come in, um, play with the kids and do fun games and dances and all kinds of things. So um, there was never a dull moment and you can check on the Disney app what characters are showing up and what type of events are happening in the kids club so that you can stay you know, updated on what's going on when your child is there at the kids club. But here's another section of the Oceaneer Lab, another area for artwork and different things. And again, this is really, it's a really large space. So the kids were able to spread out. And like I said, they're in a very secure, safe area. Okay, see here, this was my favorite part of the kids club, Andy's room. So um, of course, I think most of you probably have seen Toy Story. This is a replica of Andy's room. Um, really cool space. I absolutely love the space. It took me back to my childhood or my teenagehood, I guess. Um, but yeah, so pretty cool area, a perfect photo ops, but um, Joe Marie also enjoyed spending time in this space as well.
And if you're wondering why Dyson, Dyson is looking like that, he's wondering why we waited until he was too old to enjoy this kid's club to get on a Disney cruise. We won't make that mistake again, but as you see, he's he's pretty intrigued with the things that he's seeing in Joe Marie's kid's club. But we're gonna be off to his here in a second. All right, and here is It's a Small World Nursery. I wasn't able to get footage inside there, but this um, kids club or um, club for infants does have an upcharge and you can reserve that on the app. All right, now let's go check out Edge, which is the teens club for ages 11 through 14. All right, so here is Club Edge or Edge Kids Club, and it is for ages 11 through 14. I can say that Dyson didn't spend too much time in this area. I mean, it is a nice space, but he found that there weren't a whole lot of kids going to this kids club. Um, not quite sure why, um, but they do have ping pong, they have foosball, they have arts and crafts, karaoke, all kinds of fun things. Um, I think Dyson just had a lot of uh, fun being elsewhere on the ship. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a really great space, a cool space for those ages 11 through 14. Um, they did have um, certain activities throughout the day. You could see that on the app. But again, Dyson didn't spend much time um, in this kid's club on Disney Dream. All right, so now we are going to the Young Adults Club, which is called Vibe. It is for ages 15 through 17. Now there is a tricky way that you have to get to this space. You have to go to the exterior deck, which I believe this was deck four exterior, and then you'll see signs against the wall that'll say Vibe. You follow it all the way through this corridor there. See that door straight ahead? You're gonna go straight ahead and just continue to follow the signs until you reach Vibe. It was kind of tricky for Andrew to find, but as you see the sign here, they have a lot of these signs against the wall, so I just reminded him to look for those arrows, look for those signs. Um, but yeah, you have to go through this space here, which is also, I believe, the jogging track. Um, so yeah, he has to go all the way here, and I believe it's all the way to the front of the ship. Um, but let's check out Vibe. All right, we are almost there. As you see, this is the entrance to Vibe. So it can be a little tricky. Um, I could see some young adults turning around thinking this is not a space to go in, but it is absolutely Vibe. And check out these cool, uh, this cool feature here. This is pretty cool. I was trying to get some pictures of Andrew in there. So definitely a cool spot right there um, for those um, young adults heading to Vibe. Um, Andrew really, really loved this club and he spent pretty much his whole time there. Um, he spent very little time with us. Um, he wanted to go to Vibe every day, all day. Love that they have um, outlets there for um, the young adults that they can sit there, relax, be on their devices. Although our kids don't get on their devices when we are cruising, um, but it is a great feature. But this area was very, very spacious. They had movies playing. I mean, check out the couch. Um, that's really a, a cool place to sit back and relax. Um, so yeah, let's just kind of do a quick walkthrough of Vibe.
Now for me, this was the best part about Vibe. Check this out, their sun deck. So they actually have a space for the ages 15 to 17 to hang out outside on a deck, a secure deck where there's not gonna be other adults and other people walking through. Check this out. Look at all of those lounge chairs. There's actually a pool and two jacuzzis there. Now I did ask about this space being monitored and they did say that um, during the day and you know, when it, at nighttime, whenever there are teens there, they do have a crew member present in this area. Just wanna make sure everyone's safe and secure. Um, but this is an amazing space here, just to lounge, relax, get some sun, um, and just hang out in some fresh air. So I know Andrew really loved this and I think he actually got in jacuzzi a couple times. Um, but this is a really, really nice feature of this kids club on Disney Dream. All right, we made our way back to the cabin. Of course, you need the Lysol Clorox. Get your cabins clean. All right, so this area here has included options uh, for casual dining. They have hamburgers, um, chicken tenders, salads, fruit bowls, all kinds of different things, and all of this, and pizza as well. Um, all of these things are included, and they're open pretty much all day. Um, I wanna say they closed around 10 o'clock, but open like around 11 o'clock, and all these different grab-and-go options um, there for you. It's pretty tasty. They do also have a condiment area over here where you can add your toppings um, on your hamburgers, hot dogs. But um, yeah, these salads were really good. They were fresh and so were the fruit bowls. Um, we really enjoyed having this as an option. All right, and here we are at the main pool deck. Um, this area did get kind of congested at certain po points of the cruise, and I have to give you a word of caution. Wear water shoes. It gets extremely hot. That ground is extremely hot during the day. All right, and so in case you don't know, sodas are included with your Disney cruise. Um, I really do love this. I know that you pay for it in the cost of the cruise, but it's nice to be able to have sodas available 24-7 and not have to carry on a 12-pack. All right, and here is the famous aqueduct. We will have some footage of this um, in an upcoming vlog. All right, here's a really cute clip that I had to include. Um, jo Marie wanted to get on the water slide, but she was afraid to go by herself. She asked her big brother. First, he was like, no. Then, of course, he agreed. He's such a great big brother. Thank you, Dice. And here's a little bit more of the aqueduct. Now I have to say that I tend to not like water slides, but this water slide was lots of fun and I rode on it probably five or six times. So it's lots of fun, definitely try out aqueduct. As you see here, here is the main pool. This here is the Mickey Mouse pool. Um, that's the kitty area um, there. That did get really, really packed um, throughout the day. And then closer toward the tunnel vision or funnel vision uh, screen, you'll see um, a larger pool. That is a deeper pool. Um, kids can get in there, but it's also an adult's pool. Um, but yeah, so it's a beautiful space, um, but it could get very, very hot. All right, and now it is sail away time. Uh, we had front row seats for Sail Away. This was an amazing show. It lasted about a half hour or so. They brought out all the characters. They had dancers on stage. It was just a lot of fun. It's really cool to be able to see all of the characters up close, you know, before you sail away. They also had, and I did not, I wasn't able to capture it because of course my audio is not working, um, but they also have um, the horn or the, the horn that blows and it is the Walt Disney Melody. Um, so lots of fun. Um, we enjoyed seeing Mickey and Minnie there. I absolutely loved how many characters were always available for pictures, um, for greetings and different things. And what I really loved is that um, it wasn't rushed. It wasn't like you had to go up to them quickly, take a picture and move out the way. They would actually engage with the children um, and spend a little bit of time with them. And no one was impatient or rushing or anything. Um, so that was cool to be able to see. So as you see, Jo Marie is talking with Minnie Mouse. Um, now she's getting her picture. Um, but I absolutely love that they always had characters all around the ship for um, the kids to enjoy. Um, and it looked, seems like every corner we turned and there was a character. Um, here you have Max and Goofy. Um, and 
the resemblance to Dyson and Andrews, kind of uncanny if you look here. Um, first, they didn't want to take a picture, but I'm like, you guys are going to take this picture. Um, you know, this is a once in a lifetime, maybe not once in a lifetime, but this is a cruise that, um, you know, it's a bucket list, bucket list cruise for some. And so I told them, you guys are going to take the picture. You guys are going to be cool. And they do look cool taking these pictures with Max and Goofy. I feel like on this Disney cruise, I saw more smiles from our kids than I had seen on any other cruise line. And not to say we don't love the other cruise lines, but there is just something about these Disney cruises that are so magical. Um, so we wind up just spending the rest of the day going around seeing characters, exploring the ship. We did have a nice dinner, um, I believe at the uh, Royal Palace um, uh, dining room. Um, I'm not gonna include all that footage here for you because again, I don't have audio and I was trying to talk you guys through what we were eating, but we had a really, really fantastic time. Be sure to stay tuned for day two. We will have complete audio, um, but thanks for joining in. We really do appreciate all the support. If you love this type of content, please be sure to, to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share this video out. We have lots more coming, so stay tuned for Disney day two.